Hey Katie, welcome to the Rabbitohs mate. Good on you buddy. The big news today was that Cody Nicarima was there at Rabbitohs training this morning and I was there reporting for Rabbitohs TV so I got that story out. Nicarima has played 145 NRL games for the Broncos and Warriors and in 2022 He's made five appearances for the Warriors and scored the one try. So I think he'll be a good pickup for us. I don't know where they're going to use him, but he's got a lot of experience and he might even, who knows, find his way into the 17 this week. We'll have to wait and see for Teamless Tuesday tomorrow. But at Iron Mark High Performance Centre this morning, there was rugby league reporters Danny Wildler and Christian Nicolucci and old Mavo here from Rabbitohs TV got the story straight out. And I think I've beat them all to the punch, including the Rabbitohs, but it was a good day. I did get there a little bit late for the training footage and I went to start filming. And just as I set up the camera, the Rabbitohs cancelled the filming of training because they do that when they start doing the ball work. So I missed out there. But I did watch the training session. Now, there's a few absentees. Notably, Cameron Murray didn't train. Taffy wasn't to be seen. Big Tommy wasn't training. Peter Mamazellis and Lockie sat out. And I didn't see... Um, Sevilla have you, <laughs> Sevilla have really trained either. Uh, Campbell Graham was spending a bit of time at left centre over with AJ and Jackson Paulo on the right. Now, I think I just spoke to my dad downstairs and he's telling me that Jackson's leaving mid-season. I'm yet to confirm that, but if that's happening, then that'll be a bit of a shake-up in the team. I did interview the players. Campbell Graham is playing his 100th game this Saturday, 3 o'clock. Suncorp Stadium against the Warriors, who were awful against the Sharks. What about that? They couldn't do anything against 12, and then down to 11, they still couldn't do anything. So it's probably a good side to be meeting when we're not going real well either. So, yeah, I spoke to Campbell. Very proud to be playing his 100th game. Local junior, great story. Been playing well too. But that switch, if it happens, wait and see. You heard it here first on Rabbitohs TV. And Keon had a chat to him, the big rig. He's been playing 80 minutes. Very valuable for us on the right. Don't think he'll be moving anytime soon. And Saliva Havili, he had a, had a quick chat. And all of those interviews will be on Rabbitohs TV. And I'll put some links in the, the notes of this video here if you want to have a look. So while I was waiting for the boys to train and having a look, I spoke to a couple of fans. And one of them was Sam Camilleri, who was getting his jersey signed, a South, little cute little South jersey signed for his grandson, Cooper Kelly. And he showed me his first ever goal he kicked for the Kiama Knights under eights. So look out for that little bit of footage on Rabbitohs TV as well. I also interviewed Richard and Michael Nassif. And you might have saw Richard in a photo with George Piggins at Redfern last week. He's always at training. Good bloke. But he was actually a highly regarded young player at South and was an understudy to Mario Fennick. And him and Brad Webb actually played in a trial, first grade trial, against the Magpies back in the day. And I've got some news articles and that to back that up. And so I thought, okay, we'll have a chat. And Richard was a bit hesitant I don't blame him and I think Chaps actually had a chat to him on the weekend as well so we've got a little bit on that and Michael his brother said mate he had big reps on him my brother and he actually turned his back on rugby league to free his faith and he became a pastor so there's a story there and you'll hear a little bit of that in the story that we're going to release on Rabbitohs TV as well and so like I said the Warriors were terrible it's magic round up there. So to our Queensland fans, hopefully the boys are up for it. Now, now in other news, we've got these two new Daryl Lee blocks because everything you love about Daryl Lee is in a block. Now, the cookies and cream. Brownie had a try yesterday and he's raving about it. We've tried it, me and the missus, and geez, it's nice. It's smooth and silky white chocolate wrapped up with fluffy marshmallows and chocolate cookie pieces. It's heaven in a chocolate block. And here's one we prepared earlier. I'm just going to show you. Break that out there, look. So there they are. There's the, there's the marshmallow pieces. And oh, geez, it's good to eat. I, I won't add it now because it's now full of food. The other one, the rum and raisin, just the smell of it when you open it is beautiful. And it's juicy raisins wrapped up in Daryl Lee's rich dark chocolate. It's truly a perfect combination. A truly perfect combination, as they say it. And so, yeah, I've, I've opened one up here. Rich and full-bodied. Do yourself a favour. They're a half price now. $2.50 a block. At Coles. So get into Woolies, Coles. They're also at IGA, Audi, and all your grocery stores. Barnaby Water. 
Water with a purpose. I just had one there at the Park Cafe at Redfern. They're on sale in the fridge there. If you want to try it when you go to training, have a look at the team. Beautiful water, bottled on the Central Coast. So refreshing. So if we nearly cough then. So for your office, restaurant, cafe, or business, Australian owned. Our other sponsors are the Juniors Group of Clubs and NG Farrow Real Estate. And last but not least, George's Cameras. We'll see you tomorrow for Teamless Tuesday, where we need to bounce back against the Warriors. See you later.